Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exo Force review, and this one's on the Assault Tiger and Arachnoid Stalker from 2008. So on the front of the manual entry I have for Assault Tiger, we would have the LEGO Exo Force logo and picture of the set running through the jungle part at the bottom of the mountain, or Sentai Mountain, of course, and also, manga rendering pick of Takeshi, of course, and set number or eight one one three. And on the back, uh, out of win on the online survey, then out of Lego Club. Well, from that time, of course, and the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the last building steps. So what kind of thing? And also, this kind of thing that was part of sets at the time. So, not at all the advertisements for the other sets, which kind of a bummer, but whatever. And so now, on to the two mini freaks included with the sets. we would have Takeshi, which is kind of a little bit updated version of him. Well, hairpiece and face prints of which all the same as they've been for the first two years of that. Torso printing, a little unique to this, uh, which 2008 wave, of course. Like with the tan markings on the lower part of which, under the armor. And also, not in all the leg printing, well, since he's an earlier figure, of course. And then to the Devastator robot, which kind of just the same as in, well, in silver, just the same as from uh, most of the others, these other sets, of course. And backside of which, hollow space going on for that. And it's not only back torso printing and double side face print, also the same as from in most other sets, of course. And, of course. And that's about it with the two figs, of course. And now to the first of the sets, the Arachnoid Stalker, of course. Now, one thing from first glance is the neat color scheme it has, which is, is black and orange with a little bit of yellow mixed in. But the black and orange, very Halloween-like, so... At least it kind of works out as a Halloween set for that, but, and also for it being spider-shaped, of course. But also one big problem, or, for, or from first glance, the big problem that there is, is just like we had with Laura Skull Spiders in uh, 2015 Bionicle sets, is where there's six legs, for it, when actual spiders have eight legs, should have at least included a few more of like pieces to make give it an extra two legs. But aside from that, at least it still builds still quite cool, of course. And so now to bits of it, to some bits of it, which I see these front legs, which do have some neat sticker printings on them, and on the sides of which the old chainsaw like pieces there and of course and also see these technic bits on there probably to represent blaster guns on them and then the uh, side legs of which which do look kind of symmetrical well for that and at least with stickers on them obviously and also those tooth classic tooth pieces in orange nice to see there And also, as for the bottom part of which, do have one of those cylinder pieces on there, of course. And for this uh, center part of which, which does have, have uh, some of those uh, robot arm pieces, but used for an extra build of which, where it's mini rope. Because a little high, like with this uh, wave of which, where there was mini robot that was part of a build that comes off and gets an extra attack to them. 
but however this switch kind of is a, a all right small one where it's just the devs the arms and also a dome piece on the reports but with that you can see a couple of cone pieces acting as eyes of course and also this back section here which is kind of the cockpit area like as he has a little code that is used for the Exoforce website, which no longer active, of course. And also you can like fold these sides and flip this forward. I have a couple levers and also just four studs down in there, enough room to fit your uh, Devastator robot fig into. And can fold it around them like so, of course. And then for the back side, of which have a couple of little flame pieces coming out from there, and also another dome piece on there, but with a skull in it. It's kind of like as we had with one of the sets in the 2007 wave, of course. But as you can see, the build from this sun section of which done quite good except for a little hollow space for that I think which I think should have been filled in probably with like another orange plate or orange and black plate in there or yellow plate but that's just me although from this center of which also done quite well with the orange curved uh, slope pieces oh it's nice to see there And that is about it with the Arachnoid Stalker. And now on to the Assault Tiger. Which, as you can see, from first glance, kind of reminiscent of some of the other mechs that we've gotten in the previous years, but at least with some different bits to it. It's like obviously same pieces used for the legs, but and also like the previous year, 2007, and Max started to have ball jointed arm bits there, of course. So still carrying on from that. So starting out for the feet, oh, which perfect symmetry. Which, as you can see, comprised of mostly like. A few jagged slopes, different kinds of jagged slopes going into like pointed toes there. And then the legs of which, kind of like the Golden Titans ones, where they are large slope pieces with stickers on them. But at least these are asymmetric stickers, of course. And of course, nice to see these pieces, large pieces in orange, of course, or yellow, of course. In this upper section, which is mostly the like traditional well, uh, ratchet joint leg pieces, but also with tiles on them, of course. And as for this center section, of which does have a few uh, grill venting pieces on there, and also some sort of center bit in with a code on it which also for the website that's no longer active of course and unlike most of which it actually kind of goes all the way upwards and so in this case do you have a couple of curved slopes with stickers on them and also cockpit piece like we've seen on some uh, Star Wars sets from this time but in orange translucent orange Really nice to see there. And of course, like most of which can like, oh whoops, but kind of pops off easily. Uh -huh. Okay, fixed. Okay. Flip it right open and also center section which is built with a like 
a castle a column kind of piece in it. And to, of course, put everything onto it, obviously. And also, if you can, like, notice, this right down in there, is, which is a brown seat piece, of which to seat Takeshi into, obviously. Okay, and it's just enough room to fit him into and close around him like so, and fits quite nicely. And also on the sides, do you have these have a couple of red studs, probably acting as like warning lights or something. But big flock that there is, is on the sides of which big hollow space is on there. Although I think a couple more uh, yellow slopes should have been in there to fill that out. To the corner. Also, as for these shoulder bits, which, as you see, comprise mostly just curved and jagged slopes and also a cart hood piece on there with stickers on it, of course. But whereas for this side, of which another one of those pieces from the arachnoid stalker, which goes down into a few technic uh, rods and all, and then to a saw blade with a thicker piece on it and this red uh, bit in there. You can like for you to spin it like so. And as for this other armor witch, which is just a few technic uh, bits to it and also a hand bit that goes down to a long uh, rod bit to it that goes to these. Uh, like a uh, missile bottom pieces, well, missing a cone piece, a little trans red cone piece should be there, but I kind of dropped it a bit, but whatever. But also, one little highlight is, you, as you can see, or the main highlight of most of the sets of this way, which are little robot, extra robots that can detach and assist in battle. Where this one just slips on out quite easily. And it's its own mini build. Now, for this build alone, or this mini robot alone, as you can see, it comprised mostly like a hinge bracket pieces and also Devastator robot arms as well and dish pieces on the sides and holding a couple of saw blades and as main weapons of course and also all of which kind of centered around a like technique gear bit to there and also a curved uh, slope acting as the headpiece well with a couple stickers on there both on the top part and also for the single eye part on it as for the articulation, it's well effective. Can move in the hips and also in the shoulders and a bit in the arms and the head. Oh, whoops. Can move up and down a little bit there. Although the assault tiger as well, also good artic plenty of articulation in like the shoulders and also the fingers there, and also the uh, legs of which all kind of the same as the other mechs that there are, but but the ankles are on ball joints. To the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are uh, quite uh, cool, good sets. Like both of which consistent color schemes and also good builds for how they are. And also, so like, do you got 
definitely in the and at least they were like good deals for the price points that they were back in 2008 you know so and despite that at least they the well arachnoid stalker kind of a good parts pack of orange and black of course and also assault tiger quite very good for or at least a little bit different for than some of the other mechs previously like of course a saw blade and whatnot, but also as for the side build robot included with it, at least you oh which also good well effective build obviously, and also kind of a shame that it has a little bit of gappiness to it, but at least still workable well, nowadays. But yeah. And so now, there's an end. So now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.